What is going on YouTube? It is Captain Nether back again and today we have my teams against the upcoming 6 star Kizuna fights. So battle 1 against Dex, we're going to be getting strength Dex in cooldowns as well as switch effect and versus effect. So these teams don't really use the new units, um, only one and that is the friend captain for this particular team which is the brand new Kaido. Battle 2, we're going to get 1 turn of Special Reverse, 8 turns of Despair, and 5 turns of Resilience. So, the friend Captain Kaido, his Super Type, and the Treasure Map Beast Pirates right here, they're going to be dealing with that all together. The Kaido Special, or Super Type, is going to give our special cooldown, as well as giving him a Wano Orb, and by doing that, he's going to be inflicting burn to the enemy, so we deal with the Resilience there. And the Beast Pirates Treasure Map Unit is going to be reducing our Despair by 6 turns, I believe? 5 turns. So with Sockets, that's 8 turns altogether. Moving on to the boss fight, we are going to be getting a special limit use of 2 turns. The Treasure Map New Unit Beast Pirates right here, as well as the Frank Captain Kaido, are going to be dealing with that. And once we get to level 31+, plus, because it's going to be inflicting 2 additional turns of special limit use, don't have to worry about that. We are going to be getting a slot effect boost of 1.1 times, that's fine, we don't need to worry about that. Damage threshold, we have the treasure map ulti here to be dealing with that. We also have Boa Hancock and the waifus here, I mean type effect boost but we're going to be getting a minus one turn once you get 31 plus so until then you can use that but they're not really here for that, we're here, they're here to be another good strength unit that we can use on this team with good stats as well as the VV here to reduce the enemy's resistance to strength and then we have the X Drake here to give us chain boundary this team is going to be doing a boatload of damage even without the color affinity we should be doing a 330 million damage to Dex. Okay, so for the fight against strength, we're going to be getting fighter, striker, driven, cooldown, as well as, same thing, all the fights, uh, the super swap and the versus effect cooldown. Battle 2, we're going to get two enemies with, I think that's 10 million defense and 50,000 HP. Lock targets for five turns. Barrier, three perfects, one turn, and paralysis for five turns. As you can see, this team... Uh, Ideally, you want a... I, okay, th this fight, honestly, I, I had the toughest time building teams for. And so I came up with a friend captain 6 plus gear 5, as well as your own gear 5. Um, battle 2, you use Yamato to reduce the paralysis. Use the super type of the normal gear 5, so you can bypass through defensive effects and the barriers. Easily just sweep through that. Once you get to the boss stage... We are going to be dealing with damage reduction, resilience, nullify type effects, and special reverse initially. So, obviously, normal gear 5 is going to completely ignore the special reverse. We don't have to worry about that. The resilience. Now, you see this unit right here. This little, this little, little, little lovely Rebecca. She's actually a placeholder here for the strength Shinobu uh, for just end of turn damage is what I'm thinking because I just I don't know I don't have her I just need a farmer real quick which is not a big deal the damage reduction obviously Sanji would be dealing with that as well as giving us a chain boundary and chain multiplicative buff and then we have the support brook on there just to further increase that uh, astronomically and then you know obviously we have the rush sugo of the luffy's to just do s increased amount of damage once we get to stage 31 onwards, um, our slot effect boost is going to go down. We have to have something higher than, I believe, a 2.0. I believe that's what that means. Another turn of special reverse and further increase of resilience. Again, the Shinobu is going to allow us to just completely not even worry about the resilience. The normal gear 5 Luffy is going to be ignoring the special reverse. And the slot effect boost, even if we don't have that, we're still doing a lot of damage with the Rush Sugos. Obviously starting off with Sanji, 
and then just working our way around to finally finishing on the Luffy. And that's just ideally what you want to do for this fight. With what I have built, obviously there, I think there's going to be better teams out there. I'll probably switch to that once I don't do enough damage. But at the current time, this is what I have built for the strength fight. Okay, so for the team against Int, we're going to be getting Free Spirit, Cerebral, Powerhouse, Charge, Cooldown, Switch, Special, or Versus Effect, Cooldown, whatever. Battle 2, we're going to be getting Dex slots, as well as the Dex being unfavorable for 2 turns and damage reduction for 5 turns. Again, this is the same Captain going on when we had with Strength. You want a Gear 5 Luffy and a 6 plus Gear 5 Luffy. So... By that case, we're going to pop the super type of the normal gear 5 to bypass through the damage reduction. We are also going to be popping the shanks special to change all of our slots into tandem and just blow through. Once we get to the final battle, it is very interesting. A random type change of strength, dex, and psi or no change. We are going to have a barrier of 5 goods for 1 turn and 5 turns of attack down. So, oh, as well as Im Intimidation, Type Effect Boost, one turn. So, by that means, the bow, the Waifus, their Type Boost is not going to go through, but we're using them to reduce the attack down. We also have Sanji here, again, like before, Chain Boundary, Chain Multiplicative Buff, all of that fun jazz. Now, once we get to 31+, plus, our slot change is going to be super block. We have the 6 plus gear 5 to completely ignore super block and make the orbs beneficial. We have barrier has gone up again since we have the super type of the normal gear 5 Luffy who goes through barriers. We fine with that. Now we have increased damage reduction of 5 turns. Again, Luffy just allows us to ignore that. But if that weren't the case, we have Sanji here to reduce the damage reduction. This team against the Inch should be doing a 477 million damage. Quite a lot. Should be good for a while. I hope these teams help you guys. Um, I know they're not very accessible. But I personally find this Kizuna very not beginner friendly. Now, I know Kizunas generally aren't. But this particular one is very head scratching as to what they want you to do. Obviously they want you to use the brand new units as well as the brand new 6 plus gear 5 Luffy. But you know, it is what it is. That's going to be all for me guys. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you all within the next video.